Hi guys. <laughs> We're being joined by Kit. Um, okay, so I am here for I really don't know. <laughs> Just want to do a video. So yeah. Um, hi dude. Yeah, so I'm here with my Christmas box anyway. I know that. Ow! Oh, you little monster. Get... <sighs> Honestly. He's being a pest. It is... Um, 7.57pm on Thursday the 2nd of December um, Vlogmas has returned although I don't know how committed I will be to it this year <laughs> because I'm running out of ideas already, it's only day 2 and I'm running out of ideas already and you, you little monster can get down if you're just going to keep biting me little, little brat um, yeah, so... <laughs> I still actually need to go and edit that video and get it up in time. But anyway, I just, I don't know, I want to do something at Christmassy but I don't know what. So I'm just kind of winging it guys. Um, I'm feeling pretty okay, which is good. Um, today is day 10 of my isolation so... You know, it's, as I said, it's about two minutes to 8pm. So I'm pretty much done with isolation now. I'm not going out anywhere for the rest of this evening. Not that I've been anywhere anyway. Um, But once I've done this video, I'll be going up to edit and everything. Then I'll be going to bed. So tomorrow I can get back to normal and, yeah, start going out again. Not that I'm particularly going to be rushing to get out, but to get out of this house after nearly two weeks because I've done more than 10 days at home isolating because I was already full of a cold and a bit iffy poorly to begin with anyway before Covid kicked in but yeah to get out of this house will be amazing um but yeah so um as I said well what were I saying <laughs> I'll tell you, at least I can blame Covid for the memory fuzz now. Um, you know, mind wandering. I actually have a genuine reason now. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't see that getting any better, getting better anytime soon. But yeah, um, everything aside, I'm fine now, perfectly fine. I'm still, as you can probably tell with the voice, still snuffly and bunged up. But which world my sense of taste and smell have returned yay um <coughs> granted not a hundred percent but they have returned i am currently on apple flavored lucasade because i'm sick to death of, <laughs> i never thought i'd say this I'm sick to death of drinking coffee and i'm you know well not so much drinking coffee but not being able to taste it properly um but i'm sick to death death of drinking water that and I need a bit of energy um I'll say one thing for that everything else seems to be fine but energy wow yeah if anybody's got any of that bottled up anywhere and can send me some or sell me some please do because just wow um I don't have any I kind of feel like I've got boundless energy but then when I start stand up anything but then when I start to do anything it's like as quick as that I'm like, oh my god, I need to sit down. Oh my gosh, I've gone dizzy. Oh god, I can't do that. You know, even just getting up to go upstairs to go to the toilet and then coming back. Every time I've got to the toilet, it's not so bad because, you know, I do what I do. Um, sit down and <laughs> do what I do. And then, yeah, a bit of a rest. And then by the time I've come back downstairs again, I'm like, I need to sit down now. I'm exhausted. Um, yeah, so, but other than that... Um, yeah, I'm okay. I'm fairly back to like I were before. Will you stop eating the material? God's sake, cat. Right, stop. Honestly, it's like having a it's like having a toddler around. Stop. Don't lick me and then bite me and stop eating the scraps of material. Oh, I swear. He's chewing on this now that dangles up on the shelf. Um, anyhow, whatever. Do what you want. Anyhow, anyway, I've been watching a few different videos and um, the like December, like Tracy Fox's December Daily video, that sort of thing. I'm not going to be doing anything like that. Um, 
because I just me and challenges don't go well together as the tags challenge proved um I will finish the tag challenge I know I did a video the other day I will finish that off but I'll finish that off in my own time not that there was ever a specific you have to do this now sort of thing I like doing the challenges because I like having a specific excuse me a specific guideline to follow set of rules to not a dear to but guidelines not rules guidelines basically um structure that's it um yeah i like the structure instead of just sitting here like now we're box of stuff thinking oh, i want to do something but oh my gosh what do i do it's nice to be able to say right well you're going to do a tag and you need to do it white and you need to do buttons and you need to do fly stitch example um yeah i like that because then i've got something to work with so i'm not doing any challenges i'm not going to be doing tracy's um december daily challenge although it does look really good fun um but i may i don't know where i'm going with that anyway but yeah i may i mean i might she's doing freebies in a group i know that um daily freebies for to follow along with the december daily so depending i may may do one or two but i'm gonna try and stick to my own stuff i have a box full of christmasy themed stuff here and i just figured let's wing it a little bit so just for the time being i just wanted to come oh straight off i'm liking that <coughs> i just wanted to come and make two tags at the very least i wanted to just come and make two tags you know i figured if i just make maybe a collage tag a day or something like that do my own little december daily or you know may also maybe tag it onto vlogmas to give you guys a bit more footage other than what i've just been doing because i can't do that every day it drives me crazy probably along with everybody else um yeah, so, anyway, so straight off, I'm liking them. No idea what I'm doing. So, I have some wrapping paper here that came from a friend, because last year I decided, you know, last year, <laughs> what do you want for Christmas this year? I want all your wrapping paper. <laughs> um, yeah, all your wrapping papers and stuff like that. Don't throw them away, send them to me, please. Um, that came from, obviously, Christmas festive biscuits box which i'm guessing my intentions were to make a journal from that so i'll keep that and the, reinforce the spine or use that as a tag um yep some more christmas paper um and then i've got some vellum that says not vellum acetate that says christmas season's greetings not christmas greetings season's greetings i like that may use some of that um, and then I've got these kind of pop out things here. I like that. Chill out. Um, Christmas wishes with love, festive cheer, make a wish. Oh, there's more than one. Oh, okay. And they just pop out. The paper boutique. Um, yeah. These are all just what I have in my stash from. This is all stuff that I was given ages ago from my sister in law, Julia. Um, I like that angel. Maybe potentially cut her, fussy cut her out. So let's just have a see. Um, yep, so some beautiful reindeers there. That's nice, thick card. Is, that is really nice, thick card. Is that? Um, that alone would make a really nice tag. Okay. And then we've got some, oh that's nice stripey there, and then doves, I think, and some nice, 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 nice floral, some trees, I like them, kind of reminds me of Scandinavian trees, that again, that would make a nice tag on its own. Then we have some season's greetings and snowflakes scrapbooking paper sort of um this kind of isn't christmasy but i'm guessing 
I'm guessing I thought they were Christmassy colours. I love the texture. That's cool. Uh, some robins. These are almost kind of glossy. Well, they are matte, but they feel a bit glossy. Some robins. Father Christmas. A snowman. Some more Santa and a nice fire. That, again, would make a nice tag. Holly. And some more robins. Oh, pretty putty cat. And candles. Some wreaths. Christmas crackers. Post boxes. And horses and um, vintage theme. Another one of them, but round. So, I will honour Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. Charles Dickens. Nice. And um, some penguins. I love that paper. So cute. Reminds me of happy feet. Oh gosh, now I want to sing. I won't. I promise I won't. <laughs> Snowflakes. Okay, some bells. Some Santa and some teddies. Um, some robin hiding. That's super thick, is that? Another one. Cool. Snowflakes, more snowflakes. Some stars. Okay, more stars. Well, that's nice. The cute little Santas. I mean, it's not even focused. Is it focused? Yeah, it is focused. It's just blurry. Some, um, Moraine's gone dead. <coughs> Poinsettias. My brain went completely then. I wanted to say chrysanthemums. Uh, more robins. I like that one. Merry Christmas. Uh, again, very thick. Um, another thick piece that would make a good tag base I'm not going to do that today though some nice I don't know tealy, bluey, turquoisey colour snowy thing. a little scrapbooking card square the trees on some blue texture um, not quite sure where Maybe just the colour reminded me. So, gold, yellow, silvery grey. Okay, some sparkly stars. That's nice. Teal glimmer. Yeah, that about sums that up. Oh, somebody's already cut some stuff out of that. Um, okay, not sure why that's in there. Or that, but... Alright, so I'm going to stick with them three. Um, I can't say as anything's really jumping out at me in there yet. Maybe these. And potentially that. Or possibly even one of them. Okay, so... pop that drawer to one side. So, so far I have the acetate, the angel, purpley colour pink, this which is a scrap of some Christmas scrapbooking paper, excuse me, like a paper pad. I have this somewhere and it's about this big. Yeah, I'm no good with measurements. It's about that big, like that. Um, I'll say no good with measurements. It was an A4 sheet that I cut, that I folded in half and cut down the middle to obviously make A5, and then I turned it sideways and folded that in half, and I made a journal cover with it. And I was dead chuffed and proud of myself because it was like the first time that I'd used my sewing machine properly. Um, 
to do a cover and I used this as the front and I just put some felt on the back um, some um, turquoisey blue felt on the back and sewed through it and it made a really lovely cover and can I find it anywhere? Nope nowhere not at all zilch nada i can't find it anywhere in my stash which is really frustrating because i did it like two years ago um yeah but i can't find it anywhere so i'm just going to cut around this angel so i'll be back in a second she is so pretty yeah fast forwarded that bit because unfortunately i'm not a dab hand at fussy cutting like everybody else and i also noticed that there's a really tiny little bird there but oh, no i'm not even going to attempt it <laughs> okay so pop that over there let's do that so I don't know. Oh, there's two pieces there, okay. I really don't know. I really, really, really don't know. Help me, guys. I'm thinking maybe. I don't know. I want to do a collage, but nothing's really springing to mind. Just tear it all up. I guess that's a good way to start, perhaps. No, maybe not that one. I like that. So, how about some of this then? We're gonna go down and then how about I'm going to do this. I'm going to actually cover this. I'm going to put her to one side and I'm going to cover this. So...
Hi guys. <coughs> okay, so I have proceeded to make a mess. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? <sighs> yeah. I'm not entirely happy with it, but you know. <sighs> it's not the first time I've not been happy with a collage and then it's turned out to be really good in the end. So I'll see if I can bring it back from yeah that <laughs> okay so i deliberately obviously went over um the box so now i'm going to turn it this way and i'm going to cut all the excess edges off Which actually I'm going to do on the paper trimmer because this um, box wasn't square anyway. Not square. It wasn't straight anyway. So, I'm going to just pop that in there. Like that. And then... some of these edges and I can't do it with this one because it's too big oh although if I no I don't want to fold it yet so that's where this big trimmer comes in that would look nice it's different tags if we were doing it that way which I am not um yeah so now do I want to cut it into random tags or do I actually want to make a journal cover out of it because the idea I had was to put this down here and then use her somewhere like there ink around that now see if I do that we're going to be all over that shouldn't really do this until it's dry anyway oh missed that there but I just want a rough idea so if that was the front then that would go on there if I cut it down I trim it down a little bit more and she would go on there quite like that okay <coughs> so a journal go <coughs> this is going to be I don't know what we're gonna we'll put some on the back there all right so I need to leave that to one side to dry then and I'm going to actually do go ahead and make a journal cover. Okay, what's put in it, I do not know. Um, do I want to put that on now or do I want to wait? Um, so that were coming up, weren't it? There, so. Looking. There's a bit of white glitter glue under there. And then that were right on the edge there, weren't it? So yeah, my intention wasn't originally to do this as a journal cover, it was just to use this cardboard to 
collage and then just you know turn it over and randomly cut it into tags but I actually quite like it now as a journal cover so I need to reinforce that okay so that can wait until tomorrow now what have I just done with the top off this <laughs> Oopsie. There. Okay. I need to get another one of them out. Right, so what I'm going to do though is in the meantime, I'm going to get my distressing count. Oh, soon as I reach right there next to me. Um to ink I may sew around this but I may not we'll see wait till it's dry and then I'll decide probably wait until it's dry to do this as well but I'm gonna do it now while it's fresh in my head because I'll have forgotten what I wanted to do by tomorrow but yeah so this is gonna have to wait until tomorrow it's gonna be a bit of an ongoing project now for December let's make a journal let's make a Christmas journal that I'm never gonna use actually quite like that cardboard the plain cardboard inside and it's quite thick is that so I may even I may even just keep it as is and not reinforce it because it's quite thick now with all those extras on and actually I need to go around this so Last I have the ink out, so let's do that. Has anybody been watching the A to Z of Christmas? Oh my gosh, it's amazing! Such, such a fantastic collaboration that has been going on. I'm loving it. Maybe maybe I'll have a go at that at all at some point, but wow. Like I said, what an amazing collaboration that's been. Such a fabulous idea. And such an awesome people taking part and I've you know found some new people to subscribe to. I'll pop the link um below to the original um Rach and Bella Rach and, Rach and Bella Crafts I believe but um I'll pop yeah I'll pop the link to their channel below and then you can go there and find out what it's all about and maybe watch yourself but yeah amazing amazing some been, been some fabulous fabulous um well known crafters and some people not well known well not as well known perhaps so yeah it's been absolutely great I've really enjoyed watching loving that now they're all done and again yep that side so that's gonna go down there and she's gonna go up there Now, I think I maybe want to just tear that down a little bit more there. And possibly up 
his arm a little bit. Oh yes, I'm liking that even better. Where are we at with this fold? Oh, it's just on the fold. Yes, love it. So maybe just a bit more into that. Yes. I'm going to take a bit more off there. I don't think I do. No, I don't. So when that folds, the fold's going to be on that red line there. So no, I don't want to take any more off that. That's perfect as it is. Let's just ink them bits. Yes. That's awesome. No. I love this because it looks burnt. Almost like it's been in a fire and then take it. Can't you tell I've been watching Harry Potter? <laughs> no, I've been watching Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. It looks like a piece that's been floating down and then plucked out. Oh, I need a life. Yeah, loving that because, like I said, the front page fold cover fold is there. Oh, need my stomach growling then. So if I, instead of doing it that way, if I do that at an angle there, it's within that framework there and there. Yes, I like that. If I move it up a little bit, it covers that jaggedy edge, but still gets that and that in. Yes. Loving that. Yep, okay, so that hides them a little bit and then that I can move her up. Maybe sit her behind some cheesecloth or something and move that up. I'm liking that very much. Can't say as I'm liking that straight line there much though. However, once it's been folded, I don't think it'll be too bad, but I can put something there maybe. <coughs> okay. Actually, that's nearly dry. Okay, put some lace or something. Oh, lace, lace, lace. That's what I want. Lace. My favourite friend. That's what it needs. It needs some of that. She needs to be sat on something, but that's what that means. It needs some lace. Now, where have I got some cal calico? I do. Oh, nice square piece here that I don't want to cut into. I'm not cutting into that. Let's see if I've got some scrap. Let's see if I've got some scraps. Oh, I have. Not calico, but I have got some scraps. Oh, what about some burlap? It's nice and Christmassy, isn't it? Maybe put that there. Nope, don't like it. Got some of the Christmas trees here, but it's the wrong colour. <laughs> okay. So I might have to find some calico after all. Because that's cotton, but that's just too white. Oh, Let's see. <coughs> Let's pop that back up there.
Right, so that is gonna go there, did we say? I forgot. Yeah, there. Uh, so that's gonna go there like that. going to go there like that. So what? So we pop that there and here on there. Still not liking that much. What about some cheesecloth? Maybe. Hmm. No, I don't think this is going to work either. Why did I just cut that from that when I've probably got some scraps right next to me? Honestly. Alright, so I'm not liking that. That's not too bad. Maybe. Give it a bit of colour. Nope, still not liking it. Oh, come on, guys. About that, and then here's that on top. Actually, that's not maybe not a bad idea. So, there, there, and about there. Lost my line. There. So I'll put it around there. And then somewhere around there. And then cut that bit off because it's blank. Anyway. again. <laughs> we'll get there sometime. So that goes there. Somewhere around there. That can pop underneath and then she can sit on top. Actually, I'm liking that a lot more. Oh, I don't know. 
I do like that a lot more, but I don't know. Oh, sorry guys. This is it. Right, put it up against some paper. Great, that went the proper corner so it didn't do it straight. I'll just put it there. You under there like that. I like that better now the coin is rounded. Okay, and then you on there. Don't mind that now. Hmm. I don't mind it, but I still don't like it. <laughs> oh my god. Help me, guys. that I'm just not liking. hate doing journal covers so freaking much. It's just seriously not doing it for me. Now that I like. But I think now I want that bigger. So 
think now I want it to go all the way. Oops. So we don't use that cup. So put that up, put that up there, I'm not going to see it down there anyway, put that there and then that there, I like that now. Yes, they're that alike. That alike even better. For goodness sake. <laughs> I'm locking it in. Like, right now, I don't care if it's dry. Goobers. I actually need to put that on first. I'm not going to put it all on properly because I think I'm going to sew around it like glue it all on properly I think I'm going to sew around it bits of it so I just want to tack it down and I'm using fabric tack because obviously I'm using fabric and acetone acetate sorry and yeah though I'm all only kind of tacking it down I do want it all to stay in place okay yep that's fine and then I want that
we're going to offset her actually, but we'll put her on straight. Okay, and then and then I think I will make a decision about that tomorrow when it's dry because I might not use that one, I might use the wider one or I might not use any at all okay, I don't know where the pin is for this oh there it is whoa, whoa, whoa. bent it. It doesn't matter. Alright. So pop that back up there. Go on a Christmas ball. I've had these for ages, someone sent them to me. Oh, that's the one winner winner chicken dinner. Because it ties in with the pinks and the purple. Perfect. Yes, I like. So that is our cover, the front of it anyway, and then like I said, some lace or something down there perhaps, but I may cover that with something else, some cotton or something to wrap around, thicker lace or something I don't know I don't know but we'll see but yeah but I do think I will sew around maybe around we'll see but yeah so that's the front cover that's pretty much the spine right now and then that's the back which I'm not sure what we'll put on the back yet but that is our journal cover that took way too long to do but I like it so sort of <laughs> that confidence oh dear me but you know we'll see oh hang on a minute hold the phone I love having these clear tubs right above my head because I have just 
the seen something. So, besides the blink, I've seen the pink stuff. How about that? I never know which way this goes. Oh, see, now I've got to put that up there, but no, I don't think I like it now. I suppose maybe I could put it on the back. Maybe on the back. Mm. Would have been nice across all of it, but that ball's there now, so no. I won't be using that. How about some of this flower trim? Ooh, that might be nice across the front. Oh, there we are. I think that's it, guys. Oh yes, I really, really like that. It's going on. It's going on. Where's the scissors gone? There they are. Okay. Ooh, wow, that's all I've got left of this. I need some more. Okay, so... I love how these baskets become interchangeable as well so like that one was on the bottom before and now it's up on the top <coughs> because of the way I've just put it back so yes I really like that and it doesn't interfere with that Noel too much so let's try and keep down this line Says going over it. really like that now. Yes. That's so pretty. Love that. Cool. Okay, so I need to measure, I think. We have what do we have for a start off? We have a two and a bit inch spine, so I'll call it a two inch spine. Then we have Three and three quarter. Three and three quarter. So it's just over three and three quarter actually, but three and three quarter for the pages. Yeah, three and three quarter for the pages, so that's Six, seven and a half, I believe. Oops.
my maths is not a very good. So no, that's not gonna work. which gives a tiny little piece so three and three is six and three quarters two so I need I need seven and a half I think pretty sure I need seven and a half for it to be able to fold in half and fit See, my maths is rubbish. I hate this. So, practice test. Seven and Perfect, yes, seven and a half. I was right. Three and three quarters. Yep. Wow, my maths was actually right for once, guys. <laughs> How about that then? And I need it to be six and a half. It's just over. So I need six and a half. just fits at six and a half so it needs to be more I would say six one before six and a half completely square yeah and I probably get three signatures in there what did I say this were two so one two I'm going to split the difference and make that two, so one, two, three, yeah, yeah, if I go half an inch, so that's one, two, and then three, yeah, I'll get three signatures in there, easily, yeah, perfect, so three signatures in that. And we want it to be. What did 
I say it was? Seven and a quarter. No, seven and a half. Seven and a half by one shy of six and a half. She's that way by six and a half minus minus one mark. And that's for the Noel journal. We're going to call it Noel. Seeing as how that's basically its name. I'm loving that now, actually. And I'm going to <coughs> love you and leave you now, guys, because, as I said, this video has just taken way longer than it needed to. And it is now <laughs> 9.22pm. Um, so, yeah. This video is not going to get edited and uploaded tonight, neither is Vlogmas Day 2, but sorry guys. Obviously after watching this video you'll understand why, because at this time of night I'm just going to bed because I'm exhausted. But as I said I really wanted to come and do a video, so I've done that, I've accomplished that at least. Um, yeah, so... Now I'm going to tidy up quickly, ready for tomorrow. In fact, I'm not going to tidy up too much because I'm going to be using all this again tomorrow. And if I tidy up too much, normally I'll forget what I was doing. Um, but I will just move everything to one side and put some stuff away properly. And then I'm going to go up to bed. So, yay. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thanks for persevering with me through that if you did um, if you didn't I don't blame you one bit I'm not going to throw all these scrappy bits away I'm going to throw them into the tray because you never know we might use them um, and then bits of scrap white paper there as well um, I'll put the tray over here to one side because there's still bits in there that I'm possibly going to use um, for other things like tags and stuff for the journal. Now we've established we're making a Christmas journal. <laughs> oh dear me. Lordy lordy. I don't know why because like I said I won't use it after. But never mind. That's what we're doing. So even if it takes me the whole month of December to do it. We'll get something done. Um, yeah. Let's put all the scraps in there. And I'll sort through that tomorrow. Yeah, so anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, take care, stay safe, and I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye!